What's up, comicbook.com? BD here with our weekly Halo recap video, show, interview, all of the above, and I have a very special guest today. I am very excited. You Halo fans are going to know her very well. None other than Cortana herself, Jen Taylor. Jen, thank you so much for joining us today. How are you? Hi, I'm great. I'm happy to be here. How are you? I'm great. I'm so excited to be talking to you. We talked to each other at South By down in Austin. You told me the story about how you got to join the show. They cast you, and it just seems like you're having like this amazing, like, how did we get here, like, dream moment. I'm, I'm really glad that they brought you on. Thank you. Me too. I actually, I want to start right there because you have been Cortana for 20 plus years, which is amazing. And then you get the call to be a part of the show and you get to revisit her in a new medium. So I'd love to hear about what that experience has been like to take Cortana from the games and explore her in a brand new medium on television. Yeah, it's been, it's been really um, an interesting, fun challenge. I love Cortana. I'm always happy to play her. Um, I, I mean, I'm always happy to revisit her, you know, over these past, 21 years um and the more i get to do that the more i get to know her just like the fans right and the more i love her frankly and so i was delighted to do this and it's it's so it's familiar for me because we're doing performance capture but it's different it's a different medium and so it was fun and exciting and a little scary so it was a good challenge so in doing performance capture does that mean you're spending time like on set with pablo or are you doing that separately like, what is that process like? Yeah, yeah. I am on set. I'm on set. Um, and I am normally just wearing, when I'm on set, I'm just wearing my face cam <laughs> and <laughs> whatever my street clothes are, right? So um, I'm just using my face cam and we're shooting, we're shooting it as if, um, first what we do, sorry, let me step back. First, what we do is we run through the scenes. We do everything as if I'm in it. And then I step out of it so that, because they, it's hard to paint over me oh, in my wow. jeans and my face cam, you know. Um, so then I step out of the scene and we do it together, but not together, if that makes sense. I'm standing behind the camera and they're in front of, and you know, the actors are, the other actors are in front of the camera. And so we're, we're doing the scenes, but not right in front of each other. What a cool process. That's just like sci-fi within sci-fi. Uh, I would love to see how you guys do that. That's amazing. So we're gonna talk some spoilers for episode three. If you haven't watched it yet, that's your warning. But this is the episode where you make your debut as Cortana and I love that. I think it's so exciting to have you there. It's a bit of a rocky start for Cortana and Chief in the show. And the big difference is that in the games, Cortana chooses Chief. She studies him and she chooses to work with him. And in the show, she's assigned to him. So what kind of differences does that establish in their relationship right out of the gate for the show versus the game? They're a little more antagonistic, right? And she's got a secret agenda that he clearly does not, you know, doesn't know about, which he would not be pleased with, of course. Um, so it's, it's different. It's very different. But she has a very... Well, I don't want to give away any spoilers, but she has a really big journey in this show. So that was fun to do. Now, Pablo Pablo showed a lot in this episode. Let's just say that when he was pulling his pellet out, uh, that man was barren at all. I was not people? there for that scene. I know people <laughs> are going to ask me. I was not physically there for that scene. <laughs> but I we, do, I think... It it's so interesting to see Cortana in this role that's kind of like this manipulative type of character for John. And I'm curious, like for you as an actress, do you play those, do you study those scenes a bit more? Do you do anything to prepare to make sure you're sending a, a performance that tells the audience we know she's up to something, but John believes it, but we know. Yeah, I mean, there's definitely technical things that I'm doing, um, but I don't, I'm, I'm hoping that it's, it's, you know, the audience, I don't have to, I don't have to show that because the audience already knows that. Right. Yeah. So I just have to, uh, she's also learning things from him this entire time. She's doing this. She's learning things. So she's learning what it's like to be a human and for him to discover his humanity. And that's fascinating for her. So she's as much as she has an agenda, she's also, you know, she also has to step back a little bit and, and learn from this human who's discovering who he is. These are characters that in the games, they get to a point in their relationship where they're willing to die for each other. Is that something like that you want to see? Is that a journey we should expect them to go on? Hmm. Or is it time for something hard new and fresh? It's hard for me to say anything about that. There, don't spoil no, anything. I, yeah, I think the bond that they have is is one of the most beautiful things about the series, in my opinion, I mean, about the, you know, the game series. And so, um, 
you see this this badass Spartan, and you through her you get to see his softer side, and that is a is a marvelous thing. So um, you know, I hope we continue to explore that. No, I, I really would love to hear about the difference in performing Cortana for the game versus being now on sets in motion capture, like you said. We were working with Steven on the games, you're working with Pablo here. Is it drastically different? Well, I do motion capture now. I do, you know, I do performance capture for the games. So for, uh, for Halo Infinite, I, we did all of the motion capture. And I actually work with a different actor. I work with a man named Bruce Thomas, who does all of the physical work for, for Chief. Um, and we do we shot that in Seattle, and then and then Steve records all of his stuff in Chicago. We we worked together. Steve and I worked together really only on Halo Four. Um, we worked in the same studio together, which was such a blessing. But but he, but it is it's I'm still doing motion capture. I'm still doing perf capture. Of course, everybody else is doing it, so that's slightly different. And on the series, I'm the only only one in my scenes who's doing performance capture. Right. Um, so it's different it's a medium within a medium yeah as you say it's even more sci-fi right so um it again it was something that i felt like oh i understand this medium i'm very familiar with this but oh we're doing it inside a tv show that's that's different um so it was uh it, it was a challenge yeah it was a challenge it was also technically <laughs> i had um we had some trouble with wi-fi <laughs> Sounds silly. You wouldn't the, think that we twenty five hundred. <laughs> yeah, weird, right? No, we had some trouble with site. We, we had some trouble with um with that, and so I had to wear when I'm doing my uh <laughs> my performance capture. I had this huge cord stuck into the pack on my back, so it was almost like an umbilical cord that I, <laughs> as opposed to having Wi Fi. So that was another that was another fun little challenge I had. <laughs> little what? and we i had wranglers back there holding on to it trying to make sure i didn't trip anybody it was very fun i have a question i'm sure you're familiar with this that gamers are very vocal and if they don't like something they will be open about that and if they do like something they will be open about that as well and i've seen a lot of conversations following the show people talking about well master chief takes his helmet off i don't like that i personally think that works i think it's part of the story another talking point is that cortana is looking a little bit different in the show versus what she looks like in the games. And I've heard Kiki talk about how like they use technology that they have now, so they have to make it believable through that. And there's reasons for the changes. But I'd love to hear what you think of that, having played Cortana for so long in the games. What do you think about the fact that she does look a little bit different? Even if her essence is still there, the look is a bit different on the TV show. Um, I frankly, like the fans, I didn't see the pic, I didn't see what Cortana really looked like until the trailer came out. Wow. Um, and then I've only just, seen her today so <laughs> in this episode so um it was new for me too i i think she's beautiful um and i think it's i mean she still has tinges of blue i mean she's still blue right L little bits but um you know i understand why that is important to people and why that is important to fans and why fans can be upset about that um but i hope that they can you know, as we're moving forward, I hope that they can um, open their minds a little bit to something slightly different. I mean, that's all we can ask. When you took this role more than 20 years ago, what was the first moment that it kind of started to set in? This is a big deal. This is kind of a defining role. People are really responding to this. When did you kind of have that moment and know that you were reaching so many people? I don't know. Does that ever set in? I mean, I don't know. Um, I, I'm not sure that that's ever something you're really aware of. I, I mean, I, I, I did a, I remember doing a thing for Microsoft back in, or for, I guess it was Halo 3. So it was Destiny or it was Destiny. Wow. Oh, no, it was Bungie. <laughs> Bungie. Hello. Um, I did a thing for Bungie where we traveled around the, the world, actually meeting fans and that was sort of the first time I had done that. It was called the Cortana Chronicles. They they shot it, and um, you can I think you can see it on YouTube somewhere. And this was, yeah, back during Halo Three, so or right before Halo Three came out. And that was the first time I saw how it had affected people around the world. And I think that was one of the first times that I thought, oh, this is, this is. I knew this was a. I knew this. I knew this was successful. 
this is really a big deal. This is really a big deal for a lot of people. So that's how I get my, honestly, how I get that feedback is from fans telling me how much they, how much it has shaped their lives or affected their lives. Um, that is when I, you know, know about that stuff, but that's it is, so hard. it's hard to comprehend. It is a hard, it is a big, big deal. It's much bigger than I am. It's, it's a little difficult to comprehend in all of so. <laughs> I can imagine, but I, I imagine yeah. that is just the most rewarding, like that moment when people tell you what it means, like why they love this scene and things like that. Yeah. That's gotta be just so rewarding. What is the character you feel like people know you for more than any other? Like wh which one do people uh, call out to you the most? Is it Cortana? Is it Peach? Is it something else? Yeah, well, it depends on the time. For a while, it was all Salem from Ruby. Salem, Salem, Salem. But I think Cortana is probably the, the most well-known. My last question is for you. Episode four and beyond. Tell me how it ends. <laughs> <laughs> Cortana is growing on John. I love this dynamic. I think you're both doing a great job with it. Cortana is still working for Halsey. So I just want to hear episode four. What's coming up? Can you give me like a little, a little teasy tease of what to expect? What do you got up your sleeve, Cortana? I can't give you a tease without getting giving anything away. We do get to we we do get to have some battle sequences, which are fun. Not in four, but coming up, um, which will harken back to the game for people for for, for game fan, you know, for the fans of the game. Um, so that is that is fun. Actually, that was a fun thing to to uh, cool. record. Which is there a scene from the games that you like? Were like, I really hope we get to do this. I want to bring this to life with Pablo on the show. Was there something from the games, or just is it just so much to choose from? You can't pick one. There's so there's so many probably. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I know. I don't know that I have any specific moments. I mean, what's fun is that I'm getting to do new things and different things, yeah. and so. Um, you know, I, I want to see how their relationship can be explored as profoundly and as deeply, but perhaps in a different way. I don't know. I mean, it, you know, I'm also happy to continue to do what we've done. It's so beautiful. And I think their relationship is a really fun thing to explore. So just mining that is fun for me. I you love know. it. I can't wait to see more. Thank you so much for joining me to talk about Halo. I'm a huge fan of you, your Cortana character, the games, the show. I think it's all fantastic. Big Halo guy right here. And it's an absolute pleasure to talk with you. Thank you so much. Thank you.